All right, part three, we have the most advanced of these proxies I'm going to show you today, and this is a Stargate proxy. Now, the problem this is, the reason this is so advanced is you need a gateway, and then you need a cybernetics core, and then you can get a Stargate, so it's, it's delayed, it's about as effective as like a Thor rush, so it's kind of hard to pull off, but if you do, it's super, super effective. I should probably do a Thor rush on one of these. Another day, maybe. So it starts off real standard. You're gonna get nine probes worth of supply, which means, you know, you make your probes until you get nine supply. And then you put down a pylon, and go straight back to work. And you make another probe while that pylon is finishing. Real standard stuff. If you wanna see this in action, watch White Ra versus Hydra on the HDH Invitationals. He actually uses this build against Hydra. Unfortunately, it gets scouted, so you can't see its full potential. If it wasn't scouted, he probably would have won that game. So, the pylon finishes. I put down a gateway ASAP, and then I just go right back to work making drones. Sorry, not drones, probes. Normally, you would make probes after this. After this, I decided to get an assimilator before I started my probe production again. That was a personal preference. I'm not sure if it's the most efficient. That's something that you can test with build loader testers. And again, this is against a computer AI, so there's not a whole lot of scouting going on right now. That assimilator finishes, I immediately put three probes onto it because you're gonna need 150 gas to make your Stargate. So, that gateway's about to finish, and I'm just moving this probe up here, getting ready to pop down a cybernetic score. And you notice the building placement, there's a cybernetic score. That walls off the entire left side of my worker base, so if he comes at me with a zealot, he's only able to go through that bottom right slot there. So here's my probe, finally gets to the base. You'll notice I don't put the pylon in his main base. I actually put it down here by the cliff, because when you're going with a Stargate build like this, it's really not necessary to put it that close because you're going to have flying units, you're going to have void rays, and they can just fly through that gap. If you build it in his base, it's that much more likely to get scouted. So, just looking around here, seeing what's going on, I see he's chrono boosting his gateway. He's going to get warp gates. And, okay, there's that pylon finishing, and I just now have enough energy or minerals to put down the Stargate. And you'll notice that pylon I have is walled off by a cliff on one side and the Stargate on the other. So that cuts the surface area of the pylon in half, makes it that much more harder to surround with units and kill off. See right there, you only have about three squares there that they can actually hit it from. So while that Stargate's in, uh, warping in, I'm just gonna run around with this probe, still scout, and Nothing yet, just a zealot. I'm gonna hide my probe up here because he is chasing me. And you should have plenty of energy by the time this finishes, so you'll be able to chrono boost out your first couple of void rays at least. And I do make a second assimilator. Looking back on this, I shouldn't have. I don't really need it to make these void rays. And Stargate finishes. I just hit 150 gas, so that's really efficient. I hit 150 right as that Stargate finished. And you'll see, boom, there's that little sentry. So by the time I'm chrono boosting out my first Stargate uh, Void Ray, he has one sentry using a standard build. And he hasn't scouted this, so it's going to be almost impossible to counter. You can counter this by probably getting stalkers and just focus firing down those Void Rays and microing them, pulling back the weak units. And there's the first Void Ray. I still have plenty of energy on my Nexus, so I'm chrono boosting in my second one as well. Caught a little rogue probe there. And okay, there you go. Sentry versus Void Ray. It's pretty obviously obvious who's gonna win there. Pop. So right now I'm just letting that Void Ray play with the Zealots so he can charge up that laser. And once it's at full power, you'll see him move a little closer to the Nexus there. So, second Void Ray coming on, and you, you'll notice the Stargate has actually rallied to my first Void Ray. So anything that comes out is going to go straight to that first Void Ray, and then it'll be really easy for me to control the units from there. Alright, second Void Ray's out. He's got two gateways, not much you can do at this point. I think he's actually got three gateways even. And, you know, you cannot hold this off with just sentries. Even if you had stalkers, that's going to be really, really tough to defend against. 
and you know continuing to work on your macro even if you're cheesing always work on your macro make sure your economy is good make sure your probes are in the right spot watch your minerals if you have a whole bunch of extra minerals you know make something with it you could even uh, put down a second stargate at this point if you really wanted to and there's a third void ray coming in so you can see just how quickly this can overwhelm your enemy if he doesn't scout it and if he doesn't adapt to it <laughs> all the probes running away oh man and all three of these void rays are about to hit that maximum energy on their uh, laser beams. You can see just how fast this Nexus goes down with three of them at full power. Kaboosh! So, those are my three proxy builds. Hopefully you learn a little bit from that and you can use them when the game goes live. Thanks for watching!